Good morning and hello to 2022. I sure hope, I have a lot of hope that 2022 is going to be a really good year. I won't uh, lie, it's been rough the last few years and I'm just looking forward to, to better things ahead. Today I'm going to talk about hair loss, hair, hair regrowth. Anybody who's been with me for, for a while will know that I have, I think that's one of the very first things I talked about. I want to talk about my lifestyle favorites, just kind of a little bit of chit chat. I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway and I'm going to go ahead and get started. It was prior to 2010 when I started having an extreme amount of hair loss and I used to have just really, really good hair. I tried quite a few things and I have found that for me, derma rolling has been the very best thing that I could do to get more growth on the top of my hair. And I'm pretty sure it'll be four years ago next month that I started doing derma rolling my scalp. I know I started on Valentine's Day, I remember that. Well, everything was going just fine. And last June, I bought some Function of Beauty, and I'll put a picture of me talking about it, uh, shampoo and conditioner. I ordered it from their website. I thought it smelled good, it made my hair look good. And I had used it about four times and I was noticing I was getting, now this is just for me. This is, I know a lot of people love it, but for me, I noticed a lot of hair shedding. So, well, I quit using it and I didn't notice any hair shedding. And I, I mean a decent amount. And then I'd use it again and my hair would shed. So there, there probably is something in that product that my scalp didn't like and I was having hair loss on the top. And the way I can tell about hair loss is in my bathroom, when I'm facing the mirror, there's a light above my head and there's four windows behind me. I could just see right through the top of my hair again and I hadn't, I hadn't done that in years. I was watching a video of Penn Smith's and Penn is a master esthetician and she has a lot of great information. And of course, I'll link her channel below. And she was talking about a topical hair regrowth system or product, and it was by Revitalash. Well, I know from just friends, I've never used anything from Revitalash. I've had real good luck with the Grande Brows and the Grande Lash, so I never did try anything from Revitalash. But she, Penn did not know if it was gonna work, and I looked it up, and it was like $145, and I thought to myself, no, I'm not gonna buy it. And the companies have, the company that makes a really good helmet has asked me if I wanna try it, and I don't wanna try it. You have to, take pictures, you have to do three a year. And I think in a lot of the videos that I've seen, not in a lot, but in some of the videos I've seen when they do that before and the after, I'm really not sure if I can see that much difference. And I'm not that kind of a good YouTuber. You know, I can't, I don't have the lighting, I don't have the cameras. And I just thought, no, I thought I'd rather invest $145. And I had a discount code and I think it was maybe $110, and I bought this. And this is 1.9 ounces, and it is Revitalash Volumizing Enhancing Foam. I started using this on September the 14th, and I dated it, and I put a piece of tape over it and rubbed it in really well. I, I couldn't tell if it was a 19 or a 14, so I went ahead and, you know, at the time I put the 14. Well, when I got it, I started using it immediately. I use it every single morning. And what I did the first time I'd section it off and do a pump here, pump here, pump here, pump here, and over here. And I thought this is not going to last very long at all. And I still have quite a few more days in here, but I thought I better just concentrate it in one area. And the area I concentrated in was I put a pump here and worked it in and then put my finger over, turned it over, put one more pump here. And I'll show you how big a pump is, but I won't waste it. That is a pump. And I'll go ahead and put it on my forehead. <laughs> and it doesn't make your hair look dirty. I do not put it in this area because one time I grew these out and I didn't like it. And after using it about two months, I said to my sister, I said, I don't think that product's gonna work. I really don't think so. I said, it makes me mad. I spent that much money, but lo and behold, it did work. And my hair has, I can't see through my hair anymore. I have gone to the same 
hairstylist for 30 years. She started out being my beautician, then she became my hairdresser, and now she's my stylist. So she knows my hair really well. And I have new growth about that long all in the top. I have to really kind of work to get it down. So it worked very well for me. In fact, I ordered another bottle. A lot of times there's sales going on, and if there's not, you put, you know, you put your email in and you will get discount codes. So after I, when I decided to order it, before I ordered it, I contacted this woman who's been contacting me for quite some time, wanting me, wanting to send me products. She works at Skin Store, but I haven't been interested in getting them. And I, and I bought both of these. And I just asked her, I said, could I have a discount code for my viewers? I said, because I tried this product and I really like it. And she said, yes, I used my own discount code and I ordered another bottle and I can't be happier. Everybody's budget is different. What somebody will pay money for, somebody else won't. But I liked it well enough to do it again. With my eyebrow and my eyelash treatment that I use, I used it every, day, every night for like two or three months. And now I just use it three nights a week. I'm hoping that I'll be able just to use this every other day, but, but I'll kind of keep you posted on it. And I will know how long this, this new one will last because I'm just gonna use it in those two spots. But I ordered something today because I, I wanna try this and I wanna see if it works or not. And my oldest sister told me she tried it and she thought it, was, it would help. And it's by Grande Cosmetics. And I think it's Grande Hair. And it's 1.4 ounces and it has a dropper. And I think I'm gonna do it right here on this side and right there. And I you know, won't put any in the middle. And I wanna see if it does as well. And I contacted, <laughs> I'm getting brave. I contacted Grande Cosmetics and asked if I could have a discount code. And these discount codes don't hurt anything for me. I mean, I just asked for a discount code for my viewers and they gave me one. And I'll put that in my information below what it is. So I'll be trying that when I get it and I'll date it and we'll, I'll compare and, and my stylist will be able to see, but I've been really, really pleased with it. So I wanted to let you know that. So I did quit using the Function of Beauty. I gave it to my daughter. She has my old hair. She's got that really good thick hair and uh, she doesn't have any problems with it. So I started using something I had in my cabinet and that I had purchased some time ago. It's a Living Proof Full Shampoo. It adds body and volume, and I love it. I do, I'll show you, I use three pumps, and I'll show you how small a pump is. I hope you can. Three pumps washes my whole hair. It's for color-treated hair. It does have some type, some lather, but it really makes my hair feel clean. It makes my hair shiny. And I do use, I just use a little bit of the conditioner and I put it on my ends. But uh, I, I, I really like it a lot. That's really the only product today that I was gonna talk about. I've, I've been really happy with it. As far as the rest of the year, I finished my continu continuing education units. You have to do so many hours of continuing education so you can reapply for your RN license and I will do that. I think mine are good until May. You never know when I may want to go back to work a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my license up. So therefore I didn't watch a lot of TV. The only shows that I was really faithful in watching and I completed them because I, I DVR them. I put them on my, I think it's called TiVo. But I finished Survivor. I have watched every single episode of Survivor that has ever been made. For some reason, there is just something that I like about it. I can fast forward if there's something I don't wanna watch, then rewind and, and see. But I was really glad Erica won. That's the one I was pulling for. I thought the one that, um, Xander, I think was his name. I liked him. I thought one of those people should win. It, it's, it impresses me that the strength and ability that people have. And then also, I like the little psychological twists that go in and out. And, and it's just real interesting. And the other one that I watched that I enjoyed and finished was The Voice. And even though I was for Wendy and Paris, the trio won. And they're, they're siblings. And they are wonderful, but I just think it's really hard to have one voice compete against three. 
you know, because you can't harmonize with just one voice, but you can with three. So, but I love to listen. I love to watch the voice. If I don't like the song, I just fast forward through it. And <laughs> so song selection is important to me. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my metal allergy journey. The reason, I don't think I was clear, the reason that I need to be tested for metal allergy is anything that goes into the heart, there's gonna be some metal in it. So I had an appointment in January to go to an allergist. I'm glad I called and talked to his nurse because I asked her, I said, so how do I become desensitized to metal? She said, oh, we don't do that. We don't do metal allergies. So I need to talk to my cardiologist, my electrophysiologist and see if he wants me to go somewhere else. But I've, I've put that on hold until March. We wanna get through gym surgery, get him all taken care of, and then I'm gonna think about my issues, but I feel really good. I do feel really good, but I have not been good. And it started right before Thanksgiving. And I ordered some Garrett's popcorn from Chicago. And that was one of my, it's just a popcorn shop up close to Michigan Avenue. I'm not sure if it's just right off Michigan or if it's right on. And for quite a few years, every year around Christmas time, I would go and we'd stay down to stay downtown and see all the lights. And, and it's been quite a few years since I've done that. So I was wanting some of their cheese and caramel popcorn. It's a mix and it's delicious. So I ordered some and nobody else seemed to like it. So I ate the whole thing and then it kind of got me started on junk and I gained seven pounds. You know, I'd lost 24, 25 pounds. Now I've gained six or seven and I have started back watching again. And I didn't eat wheat because if I eat wheat, it makes my body hurt. It makes my joints hurt if I eat too much wheat. Sugar just kind of makes me grouchy and I, you know, we're pretty well to ourselves here. So I'm kind of grouchy to myself, but I am back on the wagon. I did order some, oh, around Halloween, I ordered some of the puff. I think they're a pumpkin. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I ordered some of the built puffs in paranormal pumpkin. And I'm just happy to say I only have one of them left. I did not like them. Well, I mean, they aren't, they're not horrible, but I think probably when I started eating these is when I went to real sugar. So I did. So anyway, I'll finish this, but I was able to order some of the lemon vanilla cheesecake bars. And then I ordered a box of the white chocolate cheesecake bars. They're the puffs thrilled with them. And I just eat one of those a day. And I eat the regular Built Bars. And you can still get 10% off using my discount code. But just a week or so ago, they had a 22% off. And then if I used my discount code or anybody used my discount code, it was 22% off. So I've, my daughter's been eating them now. And anyway, it's a good thing. I like to save money. And I want something that doesn't make me hungry for something else. A lot of things will trigger sugar. These don't trigger. And it doesn't make me feel like I need to go to the bathroom. That's how some of the other ones do. These are work well for me. And on my timeless code below, it still works on, you don't have to be a first time buyer. So it's $5 off an order. So what I do when I use my own code, I just like order one thing at a time. Or else what I really try to do is get like 40% off or 50% off or 30% off on my timeless skincare products. I had a few questions about my Kakai oil. I am still using Kakai oil, but my code no longer works. For some times it's worked and not worked. And I tried to order some for myself and it did not work. So I just ordered, I think it's 3860 for a bottle. So I wanted to let you know that. And there's something else I want to talk about. Don't ever assume that I got your comment. I got, a couple of months ago, I got an email from somebody who had watched me for some time and they were very upset because they thought I deleted their comment. And had they known me very well, they would have should have known that I would have posted their comment to the top. The comment was about my Dooney and Burke crossbody bag. Well, in the description below, I put two links. I put one to Dooney and Burke and one to QVC. 
Well, she used the link and the, and it was on sale and she was excited that she got it on sale. Well, I put the link there and I mean, I want people to get the best price always and I would have been very, very happy for her. And she just didn't want to have anything to do with me, thought I was terrible. Well, you can, if you go in and you leave a comment below someone else's comment, I don't get notification of that. So I went through that video and I went through every single comment and if there were replies, I looked every single comment. I searched her name for the comments. It never showed up. Because sometimes, like, I've typed out a comment when I was watching someone's video. Maybe I didn't hear enter. Maybe the computer went off for a second. But there's no guarantee that somebody's going to get that. So I, I just please know that. Because I would have really been happy to pin that, to let everybody know that they had a really good sale on those purses. So, you know, I'm gonna be taking a break. I don't know for how long. Gym surgery is coming up and I know that it's gonna take quite a bit of my time and attention because I'm gonna take really, really good care of him and I don't wanna be thinking about anything else. I will be watching all my the people I normally watch, but I am not gonna be commenting below anybody's video. Like a lot of times I'll watch them on television in here and then I, I'll go in my history and look to see if I've left a comment. Well, I'm just gonna watch them and, and give you the thumbs up. I automatically give you the thumbs up. If, I'm, if I watch you all the time, I always give you a thumbs up. And then when I get back to uploading, that means that everything is going smoother. And then I'll always leave a comment. I may put something up on Instagram or I may like look at that community tab. I think, I mean, there is one, but I think you have to be on a mobile device to receive that. So I just want you to guys to know after it's over that everything's okay. The ones, the ones of you who want to know, I want you to know. Now I want to announce the winner. I want a lot. I want, 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 not really. Uh, I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. BK Beauty has been sending me their products and I really appreciate it. I love Lisa J. I love BK Beauty. And I am really always very happy to receive products from her. Everything else I have goes to spam. I don't get, I, I don't, ha I have to look in spam to see who's, if anybody's wanting to send me anything. But Lisa never goes to spam. She sent me five lipsticks and five, and the four lip liners. Liked them so much. I ordered a set so I could give out to you. And here are, it's the complete set. They're wonderful lipsticks. So the winners of these five lipsticks is F. Mitchell. Congratulations to you. The next winner of the Hello Light Cream and the brush is Lenny B. Congratulations to you, Lenny. And then I decided I wanted to have one more person receive these. I go to random comment picker hit pick, upload the comments, hit pick, and the first person that comes up is the, gets what they want. And in this case, F. Mitchell came in at first. So then I put the word lip, and anybody that had that comment comes up, and then Lenny B. showed up. And so I have two lipsticks that I have never opened from BK Beauty that I want to give to one of you. So I kept that little lip thing up and I hit it again. And the name that came up was, was Carrie Lee. Congratulations, Carrie Lee. And the shades you're getting is acceptance and self-love. I've been wearing her lipsticks a lot today. I have on another lip bead that I love. I'm still, next video I do, I want it to be my makeup favorites of 2021. You know, I seldom talk about makeup, but I do have some really good favorites this year, and that's what I'm hoping to do. Anyway, it is all good. Um, thank you for everything, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Take care. I am going to be, I don't know for sure. I taught mm, Penn Smith. So needless to say, I mean, I'm not get, I'm, do so many hours of continue, continuing the whatever you call it and and I watch him when I want to watch him and 
Now, how does the desensitize? Desensitize. Then I'll I'll about my 